In today's video, we will be going over dropshipping for embedded ERP on Magento 2. Defining a dropshipping depot. The first step will be to define the depot which will contain the dropshipping, the products of which will be available for dropship. The creation of the depot is a standard depot. Here we have created a depot which we have named dropship. It is important to specify that the created depot, dropship depot, is correctly configured for selling and for shipping. As soon as a product is available in the dropship depot, it will automatically be displayed in stock on your website. Synchronize the dropshipping depot with the supplier. The second step will be to synchronize the stock of the dropshipping depot with your supplier. Head over to the supplier view. Here, supplier example A. In the configuration of this supplier, I will specify that I wish to import stock levels of products via either a file which can be found on a URL or a file on FTP. The system will automatically update the quantities of this depot with the data from what is found on the file. In my dropship depot, I will find my products and my quantities to import. The FTP can equally update procurement costs. We now have products which are available in this depot. The following step will happen automatically when an order is made on your website if the order includes products which are solely available from the dropshipping depot, at which point the system will automatically associate the order to the dropship depot. Here we have three products which are available in dropshipping. The second product, however, is also available from your stock. You may then ship from the traditional method with embedded ERP. The dropshipping interface has been conceived to follow orders to be sent in dropshipping and equally those which have been transmitted. The list contains all the available orders for dropshipping. For each product, the system will automatically select a favorite supplier, or you may additionally choose the cheapest, and impose that the supplier has the product in stock. Once the product is available for dropshipping, it will then automatically send the dropshipping order to the supplier. In this example, we have done it manually by validating a product, but it is possible to activate the automatic mode, which will manage all of this on its own. Four, transmission of the order to the supplier. While sending the dropshipping order to the supplier, they will receive an email. In the email, via a link, the supplier will be able to print the PDF of the supplier order, a delivery form to ship the product directly to the client. The supplier can equally access his own admin panel by clicking on the link. They are automatically connected to your site where they can find the orders they need to dropship. For each order, they will be able to print the document, accept, decline, or confirm the shipment. If the supplier confirms the shipment, they will be able to include a number to track the package and save it once the supplier is confirmed. The order will then automatically be shipped in Magento and the supplier order will be synchronized. This corresponds to the supplier order with the completed status. This order has been shipped to the client and we will find the tracking number here. This will be all for this presentation on dropshipping.